Hi, team. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Type in a yes if you can, a Y if you can hear me. I'm going to start, and I want to work through some ideas as an extension to the class, okay? So I want you to use these videos to help you clarify some of the ideas that we did during the workshop. Are you taking the 03 or the 53? All right, there's some differences. So most teachers here are taking the general curriculum 03. They're, they're different. I want to clarify them. Uh, very, very important. Uh, first of all, if you're an elementary school teacher, you're just starting out, you're teaching grades one through six, the general curriculum 03 would be the one to take. If you're a special education teacher in grades uh, one through eight, the general curriculum math 03 would be the one to take. If you wanted to be a math coach, if you wanted to uh, coach other teachers in math in the upper elementary level, then, then definitely I think you'd want to be taking this one right here, the 53. There are slight differences in the exam. They both cover number sense, algebra, geometry, probability, and data analysis. So there's that core stuff, but it's broken down in, in different ways. Has anyone ever taken the 53 before in the group? Anyone taken it by accident? They're like, ah, I took it by accident. That was painful. Okay, they, they cover similar material, but they, there is a lot of differences in them. Let's just start with the timing. Uh, both are four hour exams. So they both are four hours. You have four hours to do this. But the, but the general curriculum 03, the one that most of you are taking, it's got 45 multiple choice questions and one essay. Whereas the 53 has 100 multiple choice and two essays. So. So team, you, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're just looking at this for the first time, so you have double the multiple choice and double the essays on, on the 53. This makes it a much harder exam for pacing. Uh, teachers that are taking the general curriculum, I know that we said in the class, what was the pacing for the multiple choice? What was the recommendation for the pacing? For multiple choice, I wanted you to do spend how much time on those 45 questions? Yeah, I, I prefer that you do three hours here. And then for the open response, what was the pacing there? The open response, you're going to spend how much time? 30 minutes. And then you have an extra, how much time do you have to check? You have an extra, how much to check? You know, extra 30 minutes to check. Okay, so, so this works out pretty good for general curriculum. Three hours for the, open, uh, three hours for the multiple choice, uh, 30 minutes for the open response, 30 minutes to check, and you have, you have a lot of free time there. Um, it, it comes out to roughly four minutes per question. So, so three to four minutes per question, that's a lot of time. And depending if you, how much time you want to spend on the checking, you've got a, a good chunk of time. If you spend three to four minutes per question, you've got, over, you've got over 30 minutes at the end, literally almost an hour at the end to do your essays and check your work. Whereas with the, with the 53, it's much tighter. Uh, you are you have to do this in less than two minutes per question. So the the O3 you have three to four minutes. The 53 you have less than two minutes, which means some of these questions on the 53 you have to be able to solve in a minute. Some of them you might need two minutes, but you're moving twice as fast, doing twice as much. I, as you break these down, um, you'll see the open response is twice. You have to move twice as fast here as well. Um, it's, it's a longer test. You're going to see more questions appear in these different categories. So with a general curriculum, you might only have 10 algebra, 10 geometry, uh, five data analysis and probability. How much for uh, number sets? How much will you have on the general curriculum? How much will you have in number sets? Not 40, because they all add up to 45. But if you add up, you should have a total of 45 multiple choice, 20. So teachers taking the general curriculum, this is what they should expect. On the multiple choice, out of that 45 questions you're doing in three hours, almost half of them are going to be number sense. That's about 20. You got about 10 algebra, 10 geometry, five probability and statistics. It's, um, it varies a little bit, but that's about, that's about right. The 53 is different. It's got about 30 number sets, uh, an almost 30, uh, 30 geometry, 30, uh, 
30, uh, 30 algebra. So you're going to see much more questions here. I'll put down 10 data analysis and probability questions. So look at that. There's this huge jump in algebra for teachers taking the 53. You must be prepared for that. You're going to have, you're going to have 30 algebra questions, 30 geometry questions. It's going to be much more in those areas. You're going to have more in the data analysis section. So those areas there, you'll see more questions. You should be prepared for it. Uh, and also, your essays are worth more. So, so I'll, I'll clear this off real quick and just clarify that. On these both exams here, they both have essays. So multiple choice is what percent? The multiple choice is 90%. And the essay on the general curriculum is 10%. With the 53, it's 80% for the multiple choice and 20%. Who has difficulty with those essays? It's only 10%. So you, you have to remind you, you can still pass this. You can still pass this with a strong performance on the, on the multiple choice. So if you do good here, you can pass. This is, this is not a deal breaker, all right? You get a one, a two, you can still pass if you do really good on the multiple choice. But with the 53, if you don't, if you don't do good on the, on the essays on the 53, that's really a deal breaker. And that would really impact your score. All right, so make sure, you know, make sure you're aware of that if you ever decide to do the 53. There's some differences. Um, I think everyone in the group that we're working with, most of you are taking the, the general curriculum. That's fine. Just, you know, as you do your studies, you should clarify things that we did in the class, but you only got 10 algebra. You should work on geometry, but it's only going to be 10. The data analysis and probability, five or six. How much, how many multiple choice questions altogether on the general curriculum? How much are they? Altogether, there are how many? Yeah, there's 45 multiple choice questions on the general curriculum map. There are 100 multiple choice questions on the 53. So a big difference in the volume of questions. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.